uh, you may encounter a very a strange problem while working with SF7 or PCS7. PCS7 specifically because there are many components, uh, semantic PCS stations, uh, many controllers, many editors that are involved in the uh, processing the program. Uh, if you close all of those mm, uh, program components that are in this uh, project, if you close all of them, simulation, CFC, VNCC, variable tables, everything, you should be able to uh, archive your project easily should be able to archive your project. But now when the these components that are used in the project like the variable table, VCC project, CFC chart, when they are open, you may receive uh, this error. Archive project um, and the message number is 302025. So I had this uh, really strange behavior. I close everything. Uh, I stopped the VNCC. I stopped the VNCC uh, from the uh, VCC Explorer. I closed the project and I closed all open components. Even I closed the simulation before I uh, shut down the simulation. I just perform a memory reset to delete all links to the, uh, the working projects. The VNCC I close it from uh, from here. File close, but still I wasn't able to perform the. I wasn't able to perform the archive. Uh, now I solved the problem. Uh, I searched. Uh, uh, I, I searched on CMS Industrial on the support. I uh, searched for different solutions. I encountered some solutions. I tried them without success. In this video, I sh show you how it's possible. Uh, some strange behavior in PCS seven or Step seven project when you have the integrated uh, uh, VCC and a Step 7 project in the Step 7 environment or even in PCS7. So this is a PCS7 environment. So uh, let us uh, check the solutions um, suggested by uh, Siemens first. So this is the FAQ, frequently asked question, uh, the solution for the same um, error number. The solution is to find these two uh, process in the task manager and close uh, this process. I try to do. I try uh, to stop these. Uh, I found them and try to stop. Uh, it's very easy to find them. Uh, I'm using Win uh, Windows uh, Windows Seven. Uh, the first uh, process is, is this is DBSRV nine DBS DBSRV nine, and the next is SQL Server that takes a SQL Server SQL Server that takes a is also here. SQL Server that takes it. I stopped uh, or end these two processes with no success. Even it's it has uh, um, what can I say bad uh, effect on the uh, behavior of the uh, Step Seven or PCS Seven program. Uh, I even try to uh, stop the SQL server from the, uh, this environment. Uh, it wasn't successful at all. Uh, some of the user in Siemens industry online support, they uh, just uh, 
wrote something about um, changing the location of the uh, Pika zip C folder. So I uh, tried all of them with no success. But uh, when I tried to copy the folder, I just found out uh, there's possibility of some SQL component in the project that is uh, the Windows wasn't able to copy. Uh, the last chance I um, I was uh, I was sure that uh, the last solution, the last working solution, will be compiling. Uh, the CFC chart and uh, the OS um, separately and uh, I was hopeful that uh, everything will uh, return to initial uh, the initial state and if something is open in the uh, one or other editor this, this will uh, close them totally so I uh, try to I compiled the entire OS with memory reset. Uh, I didn't change the program, and that uh, this is uh, the final version. And I uh, compiled the entire OS. After compilation, um, I was able to archive the project easily. So um, I tried different ways at uh, Siemens online support and uh, with no success and I uh, tried some basic uh, compilation uh, basic compilation trick and it helps me and I'm happy I'm happy that uh, this solved my issue so um, I will uh, provide the links to the discussion in Simonson uh, industry online support and if you have some similar um, experience uh, we will be grateful if you share your archiving or retrieving, uh, retrieving uh, problems uh, with step 7 or PCS1. Please share your knowledge or thoughts here. Thank you for watching.